Fucking huge downgrade. These bears are fucking trash. I can tell before I walk in. Look at this shit. Oh my god. Like, why? I don't do this. Yeah, I could literally fucking cry right now. What the fuck is this? What? Just what the fuck is this? Like, no. No. Yeah, they got me all the way fucked up. I'm going right back where the fuck I came from. I'm not staying here. Look at this shit. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not fucking staying here. Negative. It's not fucking happening. I'm not fucking staying here. Listen, y'all. I almost just had a whole breakdown when I seen them bears. But let me tell y'all, but God, okay? I don't know who besides myself was praying for me. Well, I just talked to my mama, and she said she told God on me as soon as I sent her them pictures. But if y'all was praying for me, thank you. If I'm in your thoughts and prayers, thank you. Because I'm not going to have to live in those bears. I'll be able to commute back and forth. So I'll be living in the cute bears that I told y'all about, the clean bears. Let me just say clean bears. And commuting, riding the bus every day to work here, there and back. It's about an hour or so drive, but y'all, I do what I gotta do to live in a clean place. But I'll come back and talk to y'all later. And this is the hospital where I will be working. All right, y'all update guys <laughs> so i'm about to start in processing them young so y'all see these trash ass bears i'm getting my stuff out of but my unit is cool here they were down for letting me commute from Hum humphreys to young son for work so staying in humphreys in my nice room there and then um working in young son but then the NCO that oh the NCO that I've been in processing with here just came back from the command suite in the Sergeant Major here said that I'm going to Humphreys permanently. I'm not coming to Young Sun. Was coming to Young Sun wrongly again because I didn't have no orders here, but. I gotta catch this taxi up. Say au revoir to the dirty ass room. Bye bye. So I think we're in like the city. So we maybe. I swear it just reminds me of New York. Two words to tell y'all, but God, yeah, I know I look a hot ass mess, but I never been so grateful for uh, just a clean bed room in my life. As y'all can see, I'm back. I'm not even sweating the fact that I had to lug all these bags right back down to where they at and start unpacking again. I'm just grateful. Y'all seen that dirtiness and 
disgusting and mold and just unacceptability. Is that even a word? I don't know. But I just can't. I just couldn't. Um, so update on my status. So if y'all are not caught up and you have no clue what I'm talking about, once you get to Korea, you get pinpoint orders. My initial pinpoint order said Camp Humphreys, which is where I am right now, which is where you in process it. Everybody in process is there. Then they get pinpoint orders and are dispersed all over the peninsula. So, boom. My first pinpoint order said Camp Humphreys. My second pinpoint order said Camp Walker. Friday... I um, went to Camp Walker. Five minutes into the four-hour bus drive, I was told I was supposed to come to Youngsung. When I get to Camp Walker, I would be turning around and coming back to Camp Humphreys to get a room for the weekend and then come up to Youngsung where I would be stationed. I will be getting new pinpoint orders to Youngsung. So... I stayed in this nice room over the weekend. This morning, Monday morning, I set off with all my bags. Wait, let me retract that. So, over Friday when I got here, I asked, I said, so do I need to stay packed up or is this where I'm going to be permanently? No, you good, so you can go ahead and unpack this where you're going to be. I'm like, who will roger that? So I go to the PX. My arm tired, y'all. <laughs> so I go to the PX. I get me a skillet, like hot plate. I get me a toaster oven because I got to make it work bear style up in here again. Because y'all know I got to get bed snitch. Yeah. But anyhow, I go get all of that stuff. Like, you know, cleaning supplies. Like, stuff you need to actually live. Go get all of that stuff and then um, settle in here, unpack everything, like really getting good to go. So um, Sunday night, Sunday not even night, Sunday afternoon, I text the NCO that I met here Friday trying to see where I need to be Monday morning. You know, it's work time. I'm supposed to be at a unit or in processing more, like what's up? So... He told me that I would be going to Young Sun permanently. I'm like, bruh, y'all just told me I would be here permanently. I didn't pack, unpack all my stuff and got extra stuff. So I said, Roger that, son. I packed up all the stuff that I could. And he came to get me this morning, take me to the bus stop to go to Young Sun. I had a lot of stuff. When I first got here, on top of buying extra stuff, I couldn't take all that stuff with me. So the plan was for me to um, go to Young Sun, do what I need to do, um, get my bears room there, download my bags there, and then come and get the rest of the stuff tonight and then go back there tomorrow morning and be done here at Humphreys. So boom, I get to Humphreys, and I'm sorry this clip so long. But I get to, not Humphreys, I get to Young Sun. I get to the hospital, I meet my unit, and I go get a barracks room. Y'all seen the barracks rooms in the last clip. I told, excuse my language for all of y'all um, that follow me, I'm so sorry, but... I got in that barracks room. I said, I'm not fucking staying here. That's unacceptable. So, I left my bags in the barracks room and was supposed to go back and start in processing. Left my bags in the barracks room. I wanted to talk to the barracks and see. I'm like, sorry, y'all ain't got nothing better than that. He was like, that's one of the cleaning rooms. If you think that's bad, you should see the... What the fuck? Like, no. That shit got black mold in it. Ain't nobody got time for that. Like, no, I'm not even finna, no. So I text, um, I guess my sponsor 
um, that I met at the bus stop this morning. And I'm like, son, them beards are disgusting. Like, that's unacceptable. Like, honestly, I'll commute. Not knowing, she brought up my concerns to, I guess, our chief and our NCIC. So I get back to the office at the lunch, and she um, tells me that they, they blessed off on it, that I could commute back and forth. So that would mean I would leave, like, get go take the 6.30 or the 7 o'clock, 6.30 bus to Youngson every morning, go to work, and come back on, like, the 1700 bus. Which, at this point, I was so ecstatic about it because y'all seen that room. Like, honestly, any any traveling I would have had to do would have been worth it just to stay in a clean place because I wouldn't even fucking take a shower in that bathroom with shower shoes on. Like, no, I'm not even eating in here. Like, oh, like, you should have seen it in the mat. Oh, my God. The floors, everything was fucking disgusting. They didn't want to tell me that was clean, one of the clean ones. Y'all might be okay with that shit, but not me. Because I was going to go to the doctor immediately. Like, bro, you need to write me something because I cannot breathe in there. No nope, negative. Anyhow. So, boom. I will be working in Young Sun, living in this room here in Humphreys and commuting. I was fine with that. The in-process and NCO comes back to me. After I'm about to go pick up my bags to come back to um, Humphreys just to come pick up the re- um not to pick up the rest of my stuff, just to come back to Humphreys because that's where I'm going to be living to go back and forth, and tells me that the Sergeant Major there was like, hell no, I don't know who's been playing around with this soldier. This soldier is going to stand permanently at Humphreys. <laughs> yeah, at this point, I'm just convinced that I'm working all across the peninsula. But at this point, I'm not leaving this room. They're going to have to, like, snatch me from it with the grip of God. Because, no. No, not after what I've seen today. Like, these are the best bears, and this is where I'm staying. And I don't care how many buses, trains, taxis, or rollerblades i gotta take to get to where i need to go this is where i'm staying but i say all that long background story just to tell y'all that uh god is real well if you don't believe god is real that's on you but in my life god be working because yeah i could have literally cried when i seen the various rooms and it was like after I seen the barracks rooms, everything was downhill from there. Like I went to the cafeteria in the hospital, try to get some food. I go to the main line, and it was like some cabbage with peppers. I was like, "Can I get some vegetables?" And can I get the chicken? And then the guy comes up and tells the guy that's serving me like, "Oh, that's a main entree." Like saying the cabbage was considered a main entree. And saying I was meal card. Meal card in the army meaning that you got a meal card, you can go get your meals um at the defect or the cafeteria and they don't pay you for um food because they providing you meals, you know what I mean? So I was like, that don't make sense, it's vegetables, but okay, I was like, whatever, I'll just pay for it. So I get to the register to ring up all of my food, it was like nine dollars. Anyhow, it was like nine dollars. I pull up my car and she was like, "Oh, we don't take care. I was like, "All right, so you guys have an ATM?" She was like, "It's all the way at the front of the hospital, bruh." Roger that. So that's what I did. Long day, guys. But I made it because all the way to the ATM, I was just like, "God, like Jesus, Jesus, Jesus." I really wanted to spaz out, but I didn't. And then that's when I met them and got the good news that I could commute. But on top of that, I got even better news saying I'll be here permanently. So blessings on blessings on blessings. Then on my way um to the bus stop in the cab, I get out of the cab and who I see but my dog, Matt. She actually was taking the cab that I got out of to go back to work. But this clip is already long enough. I don't even know. How I'm going to get it to my dang um, computer. Now, I know I'm going to airdrop it, but it took a long time. But 
I don't know when y'all gonna be seeing this because the day been just such a day I don't have um the will power or the time really to go to Starbucks and upload a vlog for y'all today. But y'all got two three videos today, so y'all y'all will be good. But talk to y'all later. Happy vlogmas. Yeah. Hope y'all day was better than mine, but I'm not complaining. I'm just thanking God through it all. That concludes today's vlog, miss. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, sis. What you doing? I see y'all tomorrow for vlog, miss day, whatever it's gonna be.